What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time my friends we completed the Cascade Kingdom 100% That means today we are obviously moving on to the next kingdom in this game Which is going to be the Sand Kingdom now since the Sand Kingdom is a somewhat longer kingdom than you know Your typical kingdom in this game. We're going to be splitting it into two episodes So today we'll be doing like the first half or rather as much as we can of it and then in the next episode We'll most likely finish off what we couldn't finish in this episode so before we begin don't forget to drop a like on this video and answer the comment question of the day last time i asked you guys if you could use a mario ability in your day-to-day -day life what would it be and why and here are some of the responses that we got today's comment question of the day is other than playing video games and watching tv what are some of your favorite hobbies that you guys like to do uh, for me, I don't really have many hobbies to be honest. Most of my time is usually spent indoors playing games or watching TV or whatever else I may be doing, you know, with electronics and whatnot. But if I had to say, I would say the most frequent thing that I do uh, on a regular basis is, you know, take walks. I like to take walks. I like to jog. It usually helps me with like stress and, you know, it's good, obviously, exercise. It's good, you know, to get the blood flowing, especially when you're indoors all the time sitting all day on a desk or you know sitting on a chair in front of a TV playing a game it's not really good to you know for your health especially so walking and jogging is something that I like to do and I do it all the time especially in the spring and in the summer and recently I've been doing it because you know it's not cold where I live yet I mean now it's getting really cold but like a, uh, even a month ago it was still we were getting like 90 degrees sometimes during the day which was crazy to think like in October you're getting that kind of weather it's pretty crazy but here we are guys in the uh, sand kingdom tostarina is the place so um one thing i didn't do when i first visited this kingdom was buy the outfit for this kingdom because i wasn't aware of the crazy cap shop and uh i guess you know i I'll, I'll go ahead and buy it right now we have two different kinds of outfits we have the cowboy outfit with the cowboy hat and then we have the poncho outfit with the sombrero i might as well just wait until i have enough coins to buy the cowboy outfit i think that would be really cool so we'll come again once we have uh i think you need 45 or something like that i have my nice and handy bowser amiibo next to me you know to help me out on this but for now i guess we'll just stay in the barbarian outfit or in the caveman outfit i don't know why i would i mean he kind of is barbaric when you think about it mario is a barbarian so there are so many power moons to collect here these are the ones that we got from the moon rock and then as you can see we only have 18 out of 89 power moons and 29 out of 100 coins so we are missing a lot of things and honestly this kingdom feels like it's the biggest kingdom in the game. I don't know if it actually is, but in my opinion, I feel like it would have to be the biggest kingdom. Like, there's so much to do here. Oh my gosh, Cappy. Why did you do this? Oh my, I haven't played this game in like a few days, so my bad. I'm like used to Xbox One controllers. I've been playing uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, because thankfully I was able to get the game early, so I'm used to an Xbox controller, which A and B on that controller are literally opposites. Okay, we got this one already. I figured that as it is, but I wanted to double check. You can't really be too sure, unless I looked it up on a map. Hey, look at these guys from Luncheon Kingdom. I don't know what they're doing here. They're, are they trying to cook lack? Lakitu? You think maybe that's what they're trying to do? Are you going to try to eat Lakitu? I feel like maybe that's what they could do. I'm going to just wait right here. So there's a there's a power moon right here. We're going to go ahead and hit it. Oh my gosh, come back here. I guess I'll land on it. I'll try to land on it. I know there's a way you can actually uh, reach him without having to do this. But let me go ahead and try it this way. Where are you at? Is he going to really take a whole spin around this place? Is he really gone? He is gone. However, there is a power moon right here. I guess we'll come back to him later. I mean, he can't... Where the birds gather, that's where they gather. Wherever you see birds in a desert, know there's water. Because they always like to gather where water is. And there's a power moon on this thing. Very nice. And there's a power moon on that little island as well. I think we could reach that little island um, by by using the that gliding dude. Whatever his name is. What does he, I'm sure he has a name. I just don't know what it is because I don't really... Um, Pay attention to people, to characters' names in this game. Like, the Brutals, they all had names. But again, it was something that I never really paid much attention to. So, I didn't know what their names were. However, now we found Captain Toad here. We, we did that, so we don't have to worry about, you know, fishing him out of the sand. We can now adventure 
into some place else. Look at that. There's that's the bird that can't be the bird. The bird did not travel that far. There's no way he did that. No way, Jose, I'm buying into this. That's crazy. So you can actually get a lot of power moons here with Jaxi. I'm, I'm probably going to have to go get him because it'll make my uh, journey here a little bit easier. And I can get those uh, those coins as well over there. But I'm going to wait for this bird to come by so I can hit it. Oh, no! No! What are you doing? Come back here! Ah! There you go. I was going to say, you can't really ditch me like that. He was trying his best to get away from me. All right, so what we could also do here is we can long jump and then cappy bounce, get those two coins, do the same thing over there. Long jump, oh, cappy bounce, get the two things. I wonder if I could do that on that thing. I probably could, but I'm not going to risk it because I don't want to die. And if I died, I'm going to lose more of my coins. Oh, I forgot to also buy the, um, the power moon from the shop. It's whatever. I guess I'll go back and get that soon. All right, what can we do next? Let's go ahead and get Jaxi. Let's go ahead and just do these. Oh, wait, did I do this one? I think I did this one in the LP. Let me double check. Um, it was the Koopa Troopa one. Does it say you're quite nice? Blah, blah, blah. Jaxi stunning. Okay. I don't think we did this. Okay, what the heck? Unless there's another one. Hey, you got something for me? I'm definitely down to do a challenge. Want to give it a shot? Sure, sounds good, buddy. Let's do this. He wants you to walk in a circle. The rules are cake. Just walk on the arrows before they all disappear. Get 90 points. If you don't, then you lose. I'm doing a really good job, as you can tell. Like, my circle is so symmetrical. People are jealous. There you go. I did so bad. Look at this. Look at that, man. That is terrible. I got, like, what? 89. One points off. Are you serious? Okay, let's do it again. Fine. I got you. I one time did this on my other file, and I got 100. I don't know if 100 is the most you can get, but... I'm sure you could do better, because I feel like 100 wouldn't be the best. All right, there you go. Just got to keep keep walking in the circle. There you go. All right, I don't know how well I did. I think I definitely got the 90. Whoa, what the heck, man? 81, that is terrible. All right, let's try one more time. Third time is the charm. It'd be so funny if I already got this power moon, so I'm just wasting my time doing this. All right, I'm, instead of using the camera, I'm just going to keep the camera as it is. I feel like that's what's screwing me up. Just moving the camera around like that, you know? So, keep it the same way. There you go. And hopefully that worked. Hey, that looks a lot better. What did we get? 98. Two points off of 100. You better give me a new one. Hey, he actually gave me a new one. More walking in the desert. So, I guess we did this once before, but we had to do it again. To get that power moon, which is not bad. So, look at how massive this place is. As you can see, it is huge. So, this is why you need Jaxi. And the good thing is, everywhere you go, you will find Jaxi spots like that. Where you can go ahead and just call them. And uh, I realized I also did not explore this little town area when I first made my way here. So, there's going to be a lot of, like, little things around this place that I have yet to get. Like coins, for example. Just got to take a quick look around here. Okay, it looks like we're good. Actually, let me also go ahead and make my way in this thing. And this chimney. Someone's house. Somebody lives under this rock. And it's not Patrick, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's this one. Yo, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. So, go ahead and put the shades on. And it'll show you um, the hidden path. So, there's a lot of hidden paths here. And you want to make sure you get on the right one. So, we're going to stand on this. And then we're going to fall right here. And then this is how you activate the key to get one power moon. See, there's a key right there. So there's always two power moons in areas like this, like I had said before. Is that blood on the ground? What? There literally was a patch of redness on the ground. I don't know what that was. It is blood, dude. Somebody bled and died here. It looks like there's blood everywhere, unless I'm colorblind and I'm seeing things. But I'm almost positive that's, that's, that's red. Looks like it could potentially be everywhere. All right, I'm going to run across. There you go. All right, so now with this thing, you got to make sure you uh, put your shades on and then avoid all of these uh, these walls. It can be pretty easy, but at the same time, it can be difficult because at least, you know, you tend to want to use the sunglasses and then it actually ends up screwing you up big time sometimes. If you're if you're always putting them on and off like I am right now, like you should be a lot more careful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no. Okay, gotta go 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 all the way to the end. Alright. There you go. 
Did we make it? We actually did it. Wow, no deaths. I'm surprised. And then you come off of this guy and you get yourself the second power moon. So what I don't understand is why there's that huge area of just nothingness. I feel like there's, they should have added more to it if they're just going to keep the space like that. I feel like there should be more, but there isn't. But we got ourselves two power moons, guys. Pretty nice and easy, I must say. So we have 35 coins. We need a little bit more before we're uh, fully rich or I guess, you know, able to buy the whole outfit, the cowboy outfit. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go get this power moon. So if you guys didn't know, Jaxi can run on lava. I don't know how or why. It's, it's just something that he does. He can run on lava. Okay, you need to slow down, dude. You're going too crazy. All right. Go. Oh, okay. We just stopped. Nice. I didn't know he was going to do that. I was worried that he would just launch, like keep going, but he actually stopped. So let's go ahead and do this one as well. I'm going to just stop right here. And then we're going to put this guy, Cappy. Okay, get on the scarecrow. As you can see, another power moon appeared. Now, trust me, I tried doing this with Mario just running to it. It doesn't work. You have to use Jaxi because Jaxi is the only thing fast enough that can make it across that, you know, pit very, very uh, efficiently. So it's not bad as long as you have Jaxi with you. And there comes Cappy. And look at these mermaids. Look at, look at what they're looking at. They're looking at this thing down here. I don't think I showed this off once in my LP. Or maybe I did. However, I did play this on my own, so I know exactly. I remember this place. I bet there's still a power moon or two here. A power moon or two. Maybe I didn't even get one power moon. Yeah, at least I got the purple coins, though. That's very nice to, to learn. That I actually got some of the purple coins, not all of them. Is there more? There's more over there. All right, so let's go ahead and just run this way and pick these up. The one, two. And then there's going to be a lot of stuff going on this way. Actually, what's going on this way is uh, is the power moon. So let's go ahead and pick these things up real quick. Woohoo! And you want to spin around like that. And then... Oh, no! I failed! Of course I would fail, man. I would be that one dude to fail this every time. I, I don't know why. When I play it the first time, it's just like, hey, this is really easy. And when you do it again... Obviously, I always expect there's going to be a fail of some sort. Oh, my gosh. Woo! We did it. All right. Oh, my goodness. I already got it. How come I don't remember these? I feel like I do I've done it more than once. But that's not the case, Jaxi. Why are you killing us? He killed us, guys. This is not cool. I thought we were buddies. You can't just do this to me. It's because he's a an untamed beast. He just can't help himself, you know? He just loves to run freely like this. This is this is how he should be set in the wild, you know? So he's he never hurts anybody again. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, no! Jaxi! Stay alive! Okay, we did it. We did it, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it! We made it to the end! Woo! We did it, guys! We made it to the end. Man, I do not li I thought I liked Jaxi, but honestly, he's kind of crazy. There's another power moon that I'm dreading getting, and it's another one of those musical notes ones. And it's because I can't adjust him to go on a straight line to pick up the notes. And it barely lasts. Like, you can't screw up on it. You have to literally do it in a perfect run. So it makes it super, super tough. But, anyways... What does that mean for us? I guess we can go ahead and uh, start traveling to various different places. Like, for example, going up here and seeing exactly what kind of power moons we can find in this area. Like, we could probably just go for like a whole half an hour and then just, you know, see what our progress looks like. There's a power moon up there, by the way. And let me go ahead and just pick that one up. I should probably use Bowser as well just to, you know, get some, uh... Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna hit me. Oh no! All right, hurry up, Mario. Oh, my gosh, Mario. Make the amiibo happen. Gosh, dang it, dude. Oh, and then the Goombas are literally going to harass me right now. This is literally never-ending harassment. Hurry up, Bowser. Oh, my gosh. This thing is taking 5 billion years to work. Okay, we got it. Now we can see some, uh, some purple coins. There's purple coins over that way. All right, I think I know where they are. Literally right there. See? See how nice this amiibo is? It literally tells you where all the purple coins are. Uh-oh. I don't know what I just did here. Oh, never mind. He could actually run on sand like that. 
Let's go ahead and just actually do this and get it out of the way. Do the totem Goomba. So you need four of them. I think there's only a total of four in this area. So works out perfectly for me. Hello! Okay, we did it. So you want to jump over this way and then avoid the uh, the bullet bills. You can actually... Oh, my goodness. I was going to jump on him, but I was a little too hasty with that jump. So it screwed me up. All right. And then... Ooh, let's leave him alone. Hey, what's up, Goombella? How's it going? Nah, it's me, your f friendly neighborhood mustachioid Goomba man. Yep, that's me. And then grab this. Oh, by the way, I forgot. There's also another cool power moon that we can grab. A couple of them, actually. So what you want to do is you want to go this way. And then you want to copy long jump over here. And then you want to wait for one of these bullet bills to come. Oh, come on, game. I clicked the B button, dude. I keep thinking it's A. Why do, like, games have to, like, why do consoles have to have different controls like that? Gosh, I'm mad at, like, myself because it's such a stupid miss to miss, you know? All right, there you go. So, oh, no, 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 come on! Okay, so we got the bullet bill coming towards me. All right, you want to go ahead and possess this thing, and then you want to make sure... You spin your way all the way as fast as you can over to this block. And the thing is, oh, we did it on our first try. Wow. Dude, the first time I did this, it took me forever. Because uh, the bullet bill barely gets you there. But thankfully, we were able to do it in a timely fashion, which was pretty nice. So uh, now we can go ahead and get... There's one up here as well. Actually, I don't really know how to get that. I don't remember, but I got it before on my other file. So I need to just take a quick look to see exactly how it's done. And then I'll be able to do it for you guys. Because maybe you could just land there somehow. I think the whole idea is to use a bullet bill to like take you there. But I don't know. We'll come back to it in a sec. I want to actually double check and see if I got that power moon in this. I don't remember. That's the thing, you know. It doesn't hurt to double check, you know. So let's go ahead and just crash into this thing. And we definitely did, dude. One of the easiest ones here in the game. Doesn't really matter. So now we can make our way. Which way do I want to go? I want to go this way. The reason I'm going this way is because there's also another power moon hidden uh, over there on that side. I think. Wait a second. Hold on. What is it? Oh, there's one in that cage as well. Am I supposed to use a bullet bill for that? I think so. Okay, let me just get across this first, and then we'll worry about the other ones. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, no, no, no! Get up there, Mario. Very nice. Wow, that's pretty awesome, dude. That they don't screw you over like that, where you fall into the sand and you just get stuck and you have to redo it. That would be a real sad shame. Alright, so we're gonna just break out of this one right here. And then, as you can see, there is a power moon right there. Now, the best way to do it is literally just fall into it like that, into the flowing sand. I don't know if there's any other way you could do it, to be honest, but that's how I usually get that one. It's pretty nice and simple. There you go. And then let's see what this switch does. It opens up, like, way to this. That's all it did. All right, pretty nice. So let's go ahead and use Bowser again. Well, let me, let me get over this way. I don't want to accidentally run into the Goombas, man. As soon as they see me, they don't leave me alone. I'm surprised Mario in the Barbarian outfit is uh, is hot. Like, he's sweating and whatnot. How is it, you know, when you're literally practically naked, Mario? It doesn't make any sense to me. You need to explain this to me, Mario. So, let's see. Where can we find more coins? I wonder where it's going to direct me. Is there going to be coins over this way? Nope, there's a golden acorn, though. I think there's going to be... Yeah, I've kind of figured that's where it was going to take me. I knew there's coins back there. Yep, on that ledge. I just wanted to see if there was anything else in the area. So the question is, how does this game expect me to get up there? Hey, it's the Sphinx! You're not flying in the sky anymore. Hey, what's up, dog? What do you want? Let me talk to you. Hey! Hey! He doesn't want to say anything. There you go. Greetings, traveler! Blah, blah, blah. What does he desire from here? He wants a ring. That's right. You are correct. Perhaps you can enter the path. The path of what? The path of where there's a power moon. Oh, yes. Give me all the coins. I'm filthy rich. I love coins. All right, let's see what we got in this thing. I wonder. Anybody want to take a guess? Open the chest, Mario. Gosh dang it. 
I keep clicking A, dude, but I, I always end up clicking B. Or the opposite, rather. Both are those, those yes. That's all I have to say on that matter. All right, let's see, can we climb? We can actually climb the Sphinx. That's pretty dope. All right, can I reach the top from here? Uh. Oh, no! Okay, let me try that again. I'm pretty sure I could do this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin. Oh, no! Okay, fine, fine. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Gosh dang it, dude. These guys are no fun at all. They want you to do everything so, you know. I mean, I'm sure you could do it. It's just I'm not the greatest when it comes to doing that. So, well, let me take a look. If we were up there, we want to get down there. That's exactly where I need to be. Oh, I could have easily reached that, dude. I mean, come on. That's not that high off from where I was. And I need one more. Should I use Bowser? I guess I'll just get back up on this guy. So I'll show you guys how to get to that island that I was just talking about. And I'm sure there's actually coins located in that sp that, that that sphere thingamajig that I never did. Oh, and look at that. There's also a power moon over there. Just, they're littered everywhere. So you see that over there? Oh, there's also one right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Woohoo! Whee! Waha! Oh no! What the heck is wrong with you? Dude! What is your problem, man? Now what is he gonna do for me? Like, he's, he deserves to die. I'm gonna kill him right now. I do not care. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Waha, sucker! He deserved it. Cause he's gonna make me do this again. Even though I don't need to, I have to now. Alright, so we're gonna do this again, and hopefully this time around, I don't screw it up. I, uh, I'm gonna do this one first. I just don't like the way he glides in this game, to be honest, man. It's not really my cup of tea. Oh, wow, okay. I just got out of him on the lone pillar. Yep. I wonder, can he make me reach that? I think he can. I mean, there's really no way in finding out unless we try. I guess if I... Oh! Why didn't you Cappy bounce, Mario? Gosh dang it. He could have made it if he literally landed the bounce. I, I blame Mario when I should be blaming myself. It's kind of funny how that works. Because I'm actually in control of Mario, if you didn't know that. Woohoo! Whee! Why couldn't they just give you, like, a flying guy? I guess that would have been cheap if you really thought about it. You know, like, f being able to fly anywhere. There's also a power moon here! You got a moon, the treasure of Jaxie's ruins. Oh, it's because his ruin is literally beneath us. Nice. Where else can we go? Um, fantastic question. I don't really... Okay, that's a lot of coins. I guess we could go back up there. I just need to get one more... Um, one more coin. And then I'll be able to buy the whole cowboy outfit. But I'm going to go ahead and do this star right now. And then I'll come back over here and then do the other ones. So this is pretty easy. You know, you just gotta, you gotta fling Cappy, just like that. Get some more coins. There you go, fling him again. I could fling him over that way and break those boxes, but... Oh yeah, I guess I should. Because now that I see it, there's, there's literally some, uh, some of those. Alright, should I do that one as well? I guess I have to, there's no choice. I must! There you go. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! There you go, I need these. I need them power moons. Or I guess I need these. Alright, and then I'm gonna just... Woohoo! Oh! Again! I, I screwed it up! I panicked! I panicked when it should have been so easy! Fling Cappy, ground jump, double tap X. Or double tap Y. But I just... I never do that. I just screw up, man. It's like you go two days without playing this game and you just forget how to play it. It's for real. You know, I'm not trying to come up with uh, excuses here, but it actually feels that way. You just need to play it every day. Maybe that's 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 a sign, dude. That I should be playing this game all day, every day. Alright. This time around, I'm not going to screw it up. I'm literally going to long jump and get that from right here. Mario, stop it, dude. You're being overdramatic right now, you clown. I mean, it's not even worth killing myself for it, to be honest. I was going to long jump, but then it's like, why would I do that? I'm going to over jump for what reason? It's not going to be worth it. So, there's also going to be some power moons here that I'm almost positive I didn't collect. So, it'll be a good ch opportunity for me to get them as well. 
Um, I think there's a couple that I didn't collect here. I don't actually recall. I mean, there has to be. Because I had a really hard time in this area. I remember when I first visited. Uh, let's see. Woohoo! Woo! Alright, let's take a look. Yep, there's one right there. Literally hidden in the ground on the pillar. We got the other ones, though. Oh, yeah, I remember how I did it. I did it the getaway. That's right. Is there any, uh, purple coins here as well? Maybe. I I'll have to check. But let's first get this power moon. Woohoo! Woohoo! Is it right here? Let me see. Nope. Right here? Yeah, there it is! It's hidden. The invincible glim. Alright, let me use this amiibo. Amobi. Here we go. Show me what you got. You can't use it while it's saving. Go ahead. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's all the way over there. That's where they want me to go. All right. I guess we got our next destination cut out for us. Let's at least get 50 coins. Then we'll get the rest in the next one. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. How many do I even have of these? I have 35. I don't even have half of them, man. Dude, that is crazy. I mean, I know I there's a lot that I could just think of that I know I didn't get, but it's just it's gonna take some time. So I guess I'll get like maybe five more or something. We'll do five more. We did these, by the way. Oh yeah, see, I got the, the nice crown on it. Let me see. Let me go around this thing just to double check and ensure that there's nothing hidden behind these. Hey, that's where they are. Fifty coins. Not bad. Look at that. Bowser's still advertising a stinking wedding, dude. I thought it was off. I thought we blew it, man. I thought we called it. And he's still out here like, hey, I'm going to marry the peach. Everybody come to my wedding, please. Come make me feel good. Whoa, I don't recall if I ever did this one. This is uh, this is the first one. All right, I should probably speed up a little bit. There you go. Get out of that one. And obviously, there's going to be two power moons here. Uh, so I should probably take both paths. Oh, look at that, dude. This is pretty nice. All right, let me get out of this guy. Let me take the new one. I need the, I, I need you, the new guy. Okay, it's a pretty good thing we came out here. Let's go this way. Unless one of the power moves are hidden in the ground. Uh, what do we got going on here? All right, I should probably switch. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh my goodness, dude, that was crazy. I was flying in there. I, I knew I shouldn't have done that, but revolving doors freak me out. Only because I've seen zombie apocalypse shows where you get trapped in a revolving door. Could you imagine? That's literally terrifying. You know, where you're inside of a revolving door and then you got zombies on both sides trying to eat you or on all three sides. Oh. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, save me! There you go, we found the first, the Bullet Bill Maze side path. So that was the side one. You know, there's a, you know, a side moon and the main moon. So we got the side one, you know, the more generic one. It's actually very easy to get, not too hard. All right, let's go ahead and beat this. All right, I'm gonna just wait for this thing to go this way, woohoo! All right, gotta slow down, gotta slow down, gotta slow down. Oh my goodness, dude, this is crazy. Mario's going too fast. Even me trying to slow down is not working. Did I really make it? I made it! Wow! That was pretty nice. The Bullet Bill Maze Breakthrough. This is the first time I actually did this one, so that was a pretty awesome one. I liked it. And how many uh, coins, coin of my dabbers do we got? Is there something here? Goombas? Coins? It's a coin, not even coins. This is, one, this is another one as well. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. Ah. Ah. Ah, I see. I see. Very nice. Sand Moon Timer Challenge 1. There's another Power Moon up there. Yo. Let me go ahead and get it. I see it. I could probably Cappy Jump it. All right. Get off of this. Or maybe. Just maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was so close. I could have done it for sure. Well, the question is, can I get back up there? Is there like a checkpoint or something? There is no checkpoint. Gosh, dang it. Well, no, there has to be a way to get up there. I could probably cappy jump it. Yeah, there. I could definitely cappy jump it. Okay, so you want a long jump? 
and then long jump it like that. Very nice. All right, let's do it again. We could do this, guys. All right. All right, and oh my gosh, again with the under jump. I should do it. I should do it higher. I wish there was a way to angle the camera better than that. Like the camera angle is not the greatest sometimes when playing this game. It's it's, it's good. I mean, it's it's almost perfect, but there are a couple of you know things that could be better, like this, for example. Unless this is not how it's done. Unless there's a totally different way on doing it. There we go. That's how it's done. Very nice. You got yourself a power moon. That is right. Oh, what is this? Is that also a power moon hidden in the ground? It has to be. Let's find out. Or is it some Goombas? Ah, oh, it is a power moon, but I already got it. So, joke's on me. Okay, so what does that mean for me? I guess we could go back to the town. Let's go back to the town real quick and buy the cowboy outfit. And then I'm going to do probably three or four more power moons just to, you know, end off the episode. Let's actually see how many we have. We have 39. Okay, so I'll get to 42. Not including the one that I'm about to buy because this one's a cheap one. Like, you can buy it, obviously. So you're not really working for it. But I want the cowboy outfit. Yes, this is what I've been working so hard for. And uh, we're changing now, of course. Why not, dude? This is Mario's town. Mario's now the uh, the owner of this place because he's he's wearing a cowboy outfit. I don't know how that works, but still. At least we got a nice outfit. Look at it, dude. Wow, that it looks like Woody from Toy Story. A little bit, you know. If Woody had a mustache, then that's exactly who he would be. So we got ourselves the power moon as well from this place. From Tostarina. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shop in Tostarina. Okay, so what I want to do actually is I want to go back to the... Um, where do I want to go back to? Oh, look at this. There's even some uh, some coins over here. Pretty nice. Go ahead. Don't mind if I do. I'll pick them all up. This, we got 60 so far, so we only need 40 left. So not bad at all. Um, what else can I do? I can get up here. Is there like a power moon? There is one not here. There's nothing there. However, I do see something on that pyramid up on that wall. I don't know how actually I do know how to get up there. That's a pretty easy one. I think it's on my own time. I still haven't beaten this 100%. So I'm like learning some new ones right now. But that's good. All right, there's also a pipe. I don't know where that pipe's going to take me, to be honest. I don't know if I want to even go into it right now. Probably not, but I do want to climb this. There you go. Nope, that's a flagpole. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the uh, cables. There it is, but where does it end? I guess I can make it through here. There you go. And go that way. And go that way. All right, all right, all right, all right. There. Oh, again, I under jumped. My goodness. Whew. I am so bad at this. I always under jump. I should just give myself an extra two seconds. Instead of being hasty, let myself breathe for a couple seconds and then do the jump. But I guess it's a good thing because, hey, look at this. More coins. Just literally in the first area. All right, let's try this again. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Very nice. We did it. All right. We got it on top of the stone archway. So, actually, there's another cool one that you can grab. Um, I think what you need to do is let's head back here. And then we're going to jump off of this place. Because I want to go back inside of the pyramid. So, actually, there's a couple. Hold on. Um, let me actually do the one on top of the pyramid. How do I get on top of the pyramid? I think you have to do it through one of the, yeah, the power cables this way. So I know that for a fact there's a couple inside of here that I didn't grab, as well as some coins. So let me just show off the first one that I'm talking about. We're going to make our way down in here. And then uh, you'll see there's some cacti, whatever. Go ahead, break them open. Let the water spill out because, you know, we like to waste water and whatnot. And then what you need to do here is I guess you can jump on this thing. Uh, Mario, can I see? Can you let me see, my boy? And then you could go ahead and just float, spin, fly, whatever you want to do. All the way over here. And then just stand. And then inside. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. There you go. And then slide. As you can see, Mario will fall into a place with a bunch of gold. Go ahead and pick up all that nice, delicious gold. 
And then open this and you get yourself a power moon. Hey, headed in the room in the inverted pyramid. So we got 10, 20, 24 so far. Let's get it to 26. That's a good number. I like that. So you'll see that the bullet bills are breaking these. And let me actually take a look. Yep, I knew it. I did not grab those. There's a, there's a couple coins in there. So this is where you want to go back over here. And I'm going to show you guys how to get inside the pyramid. Because I remember when I first did this, I was so confused how to get back inside the pyramid. I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure it out. And then I finally figured it out. So what you need to do here is, uh, where's the pyramid again? The pyramid's over there. So if you jump off, you'll see next to that giant hole, there will be a, uh, a slingshot somewhere. I was literally just here, wasn't I? Okay, so the slingshot should be around this area. Where's the door of it? The opening is right there. So the slingshot should be literally... Yep, there it is. It's literally right underneath the door. That's what I figured. Alright, so go ahead and jump on this and... Woohoo! We did it! We landed. And there's a ch chimney thing back there. Let's go ahead and check that out as well once we're done. Alright. Go ahead and possess one of these bullet bills. Come here. Prepare to meet... Me, Mario. I was going to say your maker, but he's not about to meet Bowser, you know. Doesn't make sense. You know, I just recently understood that reference. There's so many references, or just not references, but quotes that I would hear all the time, and I never really th gave them any thought. But then when you think about it, you're like, ah, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Prepare to meet your makers. Prepare to meet God. You know, and I never thought of it like that. But then it makes a lot of sense. It's like, oh, because God created you, so you're going to go meet him when you die. You know, that's what usually people say before they kill someone in movies and whatnot. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. I just, I never thought of it like that. I, I just always thought of it as something else. Like a, a saying they said in cartoons or whatever. Woohoo! No! Why you got to do this to me, Goomba? Why you got to do this to me, Mushrooms? You dirty little mushrooms. Oh, no. Oh, by the way, there's also a little something something back here. It's a power moon. That's right. Hidden inside of the pyramid. They're very nice and easy, man. There's just a lot. That's what I said. You know, I don't think this kingdom is going to be tough. It's literally just there's a lot of uh, a lot of power moons here. There's 89. And this is still nothing compared to Metro Kingdom. And I think Metro Kingdom is in terms of, you know, vastness is like up on par with this one so it's pretty cool there's a lot for us to do here all right go ahead and jump over like that and get the three coins out of here so now we can make our way out of here now let's go ahead and get one more power moon i guess we could do the chimney one of those chimney places which one was i going to do though i was going to do the one behind the pyramid so let me go ahead and possess this guy was it over there it's over there okay here we go Mama. You can't switch your camera angle, unfortunately, with this thing. It would be nice, you know. I could get a nice picture of me flying as him. I mean, I guess if I went into camera mode, I could do it. But I don't recall if I've been in this one. There's a lot of them, so forgive me if I don't remember. Okay, this one's a fun one. I like it. This is actually the one that I was hoping to get. The little, the little squiddy one. Woohoo! We're Squidward. Woohoo! Squidward's flying. And then you want to just land on this thing. Replenish your juice and then you want to go Land up here and then fly upwards And then go that way actually this is what you want to do. I screwed it up I want to I want to just get my juice back up. Okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? you fly up that way Woohoo! And then fall Woohoo! Go up Woohoo! Oh no Dude, I barely almost made it, dude. Freezing waterway, hidden room. That's the first one. The first time I did this, I didn't know exactly where the, the second one was. And then I knew it was going to be hidden inside of, like, one of those walls. And thankfully, I was able to find it. All right, we can go back down. Replenish our HP. And then just wait, 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 wait. And then... Woohoo! Whee! I love this thing, dude. I love the mechanics of uh, the squid in this game. All right. Go ahead and just wait. And then I think the rest of the way we have to make it with just the rest of the juice that we got. All right. Woohoo! All right. And oh no! Dude, we barely made it. Like, we literally barely made it. Like, as soon as he went black out of juice or ink or whatever, he landed right there. 
So that was pretty fun. I think that's going to conclude today's episode, though, guys. Uh, next time, we are going to do our best to completing the rest of this kingdom. I mean, we don't really have many power moons left, and I'm sure I'll be able to figure out where the rest of them are. Let's see if we got all the, uh, the, 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 the moon power ones. Okay, so we got most of them, not all of them, though. But the rest should be pretty straightforward and easy to get from here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.